YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Ooh, I got foundation on my shirt. Oh, okay. So we're just gonna hop right into this video and today we're going to be reviewing the $100 TikTok camera. The real question is, is it actually worth it? First thing I do wanna start by saying is you do not need a camera to start your YouTube channel. You can literally start with your phone. Your phone has amazing recording quality. Your phone is also probably worth over a thousand dollars. You really think the quality of the phone wouldn't be good? Like, don't let the pressure of what everybody else is doing like get to your head. Oh, they have a G7X Mark II. Oh, they have a Sony, okay. They're constantly saying like, oh, it's not the right time. Oh, it's not the right time. Then when is it? When is it? You should start and learn as you go because you never know who your content is going to reach. And some people love to go back and see where a person started from and how they got there. I'm going to include what the quality of the camera actually looks like in this video so y'all can see if y'all actually think the camera is worth the hype. Don't get me wrong. I know some people just want a camera to have it. If you're new and you just want to have it to just get the gist of it, get it, you know? But it's not necessarily a necessity. So when you get the camera, this is what it'll look like. It comes with a camera attachment so you can hold your camera on your wrist it comes with a charger cord along with a charger block it comes with two batteries my i already have a battery in the camera it also comes with a battery charger y'all me personally i got a mini light attachment that you can hook to the top of your camera this hook it right on top of your camera like this and then you just and it turns on. I also got a mic attachment because I think the audio of the camera sounds better with a mic attachment. The link to this exact camera will be in my description box below. This camera also comes in many different colors. It comes in pink, blue, and orange, if I'm not mistaken. The camera also comes with an SD memory card, and I believe it's 32 gigabytes, but you can order a 256 gigabyte memory card off Amazon if you plan on doing more vlogs. Okay, so first thing first, it does not have an actual place for you to look in the camera you notice it has different ways you have you can record you can take pictures you can look at a playback to see what videos you already took but one thing that i did notice it has speed and slow-mo so like if you want to record in slow-mo you just turn the nozzle and it'll be slow-mo i had to learn it the hard way so if you're going to record make sure you have it on video i almost forgot this camera does come with a lens this is how the camera comes without the mic attachment and then it does come with a lens as well. Another good thing about this camera is that it has built-in Wi-Fi, meaning you don't have to hook this camera up to a computer to get the videos off. You want to click menu, scroll over to settings, scroll all the way down and turn your Wi-Fi on. Once your Wi-Fi is on, you'll be directed to scan a QR code right here. You'll be directed to scan a QR code and the QR code will open up a screen to take you to the app to download the app. If the QR code does not open, here's what the app is called right here. And you'll be able to actually record from your camera. You'll be able to see what you're recording on your camera while looking at your phone and i think that is a really cool feature for this camera to only be a hundred dollars like tch, what do you mean okay so i'm going to be filming the rest of this youtube video on the hundred dollar camera and y'all can tell me what y'all honestly think about it i already recorded a video for my tiktok about this camera and i genuinely think that this is a good beginner camera that won't break the pockets okay guys so this is what the camera quality looks like on the hundred dollar camera and this is what the microphone sounds like with the microphone attachment i genuinely think as a beginner or if you're just getting used to using cameras this is a really good camera but also don't knock recording with your phone i feel like your phone is just as effective to record on you know but it also depends on what kind of vibe are you going for for your YouTube channel like do you, how do you really want the videos to look because some videos like if I'm doing travel vlogs and stuff like that I want a VHS kind of old school throwback kind of vibe and I feel like this camera perfectly captures that type of vibe and it also has an autofocus you know and then some people are saying oh the quality is trash oh this doesn't work oh you shouldn't do that yada 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 don't listen to them because what may work for one person may not work for the other this camera quality may be exactly for the vibe that you're going for for your youtube content you know i personally like stuff that has you know it has a little range and grudge to it some videos i want to be super super immense top tier quality other videos i wanted to look like a family video you know like a vhs type of you know america's funniest home videos type of vibe that's sometimes what i go for 
But also, I feel like this is just a good startup vibe. If you're trying to start up your YouTube channel, this is really good to get. Once again, the link to this will be in my description box below. The camera also comes with a built-in flashlight, so you could turn that on as well. That's what I just turned on. But don't knock using your phone as a camera your phone is a very good way to start as well and you can edit on your phone but as for me i think this is a very good startup camera oh the quality da, 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 da. don't think about that and many people are like oh i don't want to be like everybody else i don't want my youtube channel to be like everybody else oh i don't want my thumbnails to look like everybody else everybody is starting a youtube channel i won't be able to da, 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 da. Everybody may be starting a YouTube channel, but how many people are actually going to stay consistent with it? So many people can do something, but not a lot of people will actually put into the effort to actually make it last. I've had this YouTube channel for God knows how long, and I'm just now getting consistent with it. Who knows? The only thing it takes is one video to blow up and your whole life can change overnight. I want to show you guys what it looks like if you zoom in. This is with the zoom, and this is also with the zoom out. So yeah. And with all that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this YouTube video, and I really hope you guys like this quick little review over this camera that I did. Hopefully it helps you jumpstart your YouTube channel as well. You know, who knows where this journey could take you. And if you don't want to get a camera, if you don't feel like recording with a camera, start with your phone. It is so simple. Oh, my phone's not this. Oh, my phone's not this. Oh, I don't have this lighting. Oh, I don't have that type of lighting. What would I record? Da, 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 da. You never know if you don't start, you know? So yeah, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notify button below is it notify or subscribe i don't know we'll find out but yeah thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed this video